Hey, what's going on my friends? Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication. I'm Mark, and if you've been following along with these videos, I've been working on this project, Project Stealth. Project Stealth is a car audio trunk build featuring two 10-inch Focal subwoofers, audio control amplifiers and processing, and sound skin sound treatment materials. Now, if you've been following along with the process, I sound treated the trunk, I made a subwoofer box, I made an amplifier rack, I did a bunch of woodworking for beauty panels, I made some acrylic pieces, I even formed some metal mesh. But now, in this video, we need to wrap things up pun intended, because we're gonna be wrapping the upholstery materials, doing the carpet and vinyl, and we're also going to be adding the LED lights. Let's dive on in and get started. So in the last video, we had left off with making the formed metal mesh above the subwoofers and above the amplifiers. In the meantime, I've also made this battery cover, and then I've made these insert covers that go above the metal mesh. Now the idea with these is that if I need to get groceries or anything like that, I can have these in the vehicle, I can throw them over the top, thus giving a little bit more additional protection for everything below. Let's get all these pieces removed so I can start the upholstery process, and if you wanna check out the videos to see how I actually made all of these wood pieces and how everything goes together, definitely check out the full build playlist. So these steps, my friends, they're pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna to cue up that music and let you guys watch and enjoy. Now that I've got that piece wrapped with vinyl, it's a similar process to wrap my other panels with carpet. I do want to point out though, the difference here is I'm using a spray adhesive out of a can. With carpet, the fibers are a lot more exposed and a lot more prone to sticking, so I can get away with just using a spray adhesive like this and get a really good bond. But I would not recommend this style of spray adhesive for vinyl. You really need to use the contact adhesive that I recommended earlier, link down in the description. Whenever you're working with spray adhesive or contact, cement, you're going to apply it to both pieces of material and allow it to fully dry before we stick the two pieces of material together. I apply the carpet in the same way I did the vinyl. I work it into the groove on the back side and then trim it away. And if you're wondering about how I added that groove, definitely go back and check out some of the woodworking process for this build. So let's take a look and see how the carpeted piece looks with the vinyl piece. I would say that's looking pretty cool, but we need to add that metal mesh and we also need to still do the LED edge lighting. We'll get to that in a second. It's definitely looking great, but what's the point of looking great if we have rattles and all sorts of other sound issues? Well, this is a perfect time to segue 
to show sponsor SoundSkins. Throughout the full trunk, I performed a sound treatment process using SoundSkins Pro. This helps to cut down on the road noise outside the vehicle and it helps to stop the vibrations of the vehicle. You want to stop vibrations because those steal acoustic energy away from your sound system. The SoundSkins Pro material combines three different layers and it also comes in large 79 inch by 19 inch rolls of material. To learn more about SoundSkins Pro, check out the link down in the video description. So back to doing our LED lighting. I picked up this strand and I'll put a link to it down in the video description for you guys as well. This is just a red strand, I'm not doing RGB or anything crazy like that, and I start with trimming away some of the waterproofing material so that I can access those leads. I then slide a piece of heat shrink material over the LED strand because I'm actually going to be soldering my own wires to this strand, which I cut to size, and then using the Mobile Solutions wire spinner, I'm going to spin these up and apply harness tape. The spinner allows me to do this incredibly quickly, and the harness tape really holds onto the wires nice and tight and keeps it in a nice convenient bundle as you can see. To prepare the wires, I start with tinning the ends of them. Next, I tin the small connections on the LED strand itself. Now it's just a matter of heating the connection and allowing the two to join together. With the connection made, I use my 12 volt power supply and I'll just give it a quick test. And hey, will you look at that? We've got light, everything looks good. So now I can slide the heat shrink over that connection and protect it and shrink it down. Now it's time to attach the LED strand to the acrylic. And I do this by using several small pieces of Tessa tape and going around the outside perimeter and sticking the LED strand in place. Next, I can use one long strand of tape and fold it down around the sides of the LED strand, sticking it to the acrylic. I then add another layer of tape on each side of the acrylic to fully attach everything together. Once I'm done, the piece looks like this. I turn on those lights and have this nice edge lit glow. Now I had drilled holes earlier in the acrylic that line up with the metal mesh, so now I can align everything and I can then use some mounting fasteners to secure everything to the piece of wood. Now over in the vehicle, I can connect my wiring. Now understand with this fuse block, I have of course ground, but then I have two different sides of positive feed. One of the positives is a constant and the other one is switched and it comes on with the ignition of the vehicle via a relay. So I'm attaching these LEDs so that they turn on only when my sound system is on. I then add a properly sized fuse and I secure the fuse panel cover back on top and now I can start securing all of my panels. So I of course start with securing the bottom panels and then I'm going to apply the carpeted panels and secure those in place and finally the last magnet panel that's held in position. Let's fire up the system and make sure that these lights come on which they do. Let's take a closer look. I'll give you guys a little bit of a teaser of what the finished project looks like here, but I do still have a couple more things I need to do. Really simple, I just need to carpet that panel that sits over the battery, and I also need to carpet these beauty panel inserts. These are for if the vehicle is ever used for getting groceries or anything like that, then we can just quickly cover up the subwoofers and amplifiers and use that as a complete storage area. I do wanna give you guys a finished look at the project, so I'm gonna be doing a final project overview video that'll be coming to you guys soon. If you want to see more of the build or some of my other videos, you can check them out here on screen. A special thanks to SoundSkins along with John, Brian, Ali, Steve, Emmanuel, and Jerry and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all of those guys for helping make these videos possible. Learn more about the team down in the video description. As always, my friends, thank you guys for watching.